हेलो एवरी वन अवर टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज सिफेलो कॉटल ग्रोथ एंड स्कैमिन्स ग्रोथ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वुड बी लुकिंग टूवर्ड सिफेलो कॉटल ग्रोथ नाउ वट इज सिफेलो कॉटल ग्रोथ देर इज एन एक्सेस ऑफ इंक्रीज ग्रोथ ग्रेडियंट विच इज एक्सटेंडिंग फ्रॉम हेड टूवर्ड्स द फीट दिस इज कॉल्ड सिफेलो कॉडल ग्रोथ Now see this pictorial representation, in which three different time periods of growth are given. First of all, fetal life, two months, then birth, then twenty-five years. Now, in fetal life, what happens is the fifty percent of the total length of the body is being taken by the head itself, whereas thirty percent is for the limbs. as the baby is born and the growth takes place the head covers only 25 to 30% whereas in adult life head accounts for only 12% whereas the limbs accounts for 50% so there is an increased growth gradient we can see which is extending from head towards the feet matlab ek ग्रोथ ग्रेडियंट है जो कि हेड से फीट तक आ रहा है फीटल लाइफ में हेड बढ़ा था वेर एज अडल्ट लाइफ में फीट और लिम्स बढ़े हैं सो so, क्या हो रहा है एक ग्रोथ ग्रेडियंट है जो कि हेड से फीट की तरफ आ रहा है फीटल लाइफ में हेड वॉज फिफ्टी परसेंट एट बर्थ इट वॉज ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी परसेंट एंड एट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एज इट इज़ ट्वेल्व परसेंट ओनली whereas the limbs which was earlier smaller 30% it grew and in tw- and at 25 years of age it is 50% pelo cotal growth in face at both the jaws and the face are less developed when compared to skull maxilla being closer to the head grows faster and growth is completed before mandible see the gradient here is from head towards the feet so obviously maxilla since it is closer to the head it would grow faster mandible being away from the brain or head grows more and grows com- and growth completes later than axilla so that was it about cephalocaudal growth or scamens curve or scamens growth see what was told in this curve that first of all as we know that a body comprises of four major tissues which are neural somatic which includes both muscles and bones lymphoid and genital or sexual tissues now these tissues grow at different time and at different rate so scamens curve was a curve which was plotted in two axes in which one and in which on one side the age of the person was considered and on the other side the size of that particular organ or the size of that particular tissue so first of all neural tissue as we can see from the curve the growth completes by the age of 6 to 7 years and then after that it is stagnant there is an increasing increase in the growth of neural tissue till 6 to 7 years then it is stagnant till 20 years next is somatic tissues or general tissues muscles and bones general body see it follows a s shaped pattern that is it is slow during the childhood 
whereas it is a quite stagnant in 10 years or 11 years of age and then it is again acceleration there is again acceleration at puberty next is lymphoid organs so see what is happening here is that at late childhood means 10 to 11 years of age it is attaining a peak and it is growing beyond the adult amount adult amount is 100 percent it is growing beyond the adult amount which is 200 percent and then at puberty it is regressing so this is how lymphoid organs grow next is genital organs see genital organs they represent the secondary sexual character second genital organs they represent the secondary sexual character they appear at puberty and they attain peak in 20 years of age before puberty it is a stagnant so what are the effect of scammon's growth in facial region first of all mandible it follows somatic growth pattern now what was somatic growth pattern see general growth pattern means a shaped pattern it is slow during childhood and it is accelerated in puberty long time growth until about 18 to 20 years in male the mandible ko grow hone mein completely zyada time lagta hai now maxilla maxilla follows neural growth pattern means its growth pehle khatam ho jati hai so neural growth pattern kab khatam ho rahi hai 6 to 7 years of age so skeletal problems of maxilla should be treated earlier to the mandible example ideal age for giving reverse pull head care is 6 years mandible ka treatment skeletal problems of mandible jo bhi skeletal problems hai mandible ki wo pehle treat ho jani chahiye as compared to maxilla ki skeletal problems of maxilla pehle treat ho jani chahiye as compared to mandible because uski growth jo hai wo neural growth pattern follow karti hai aur jaldi cease ho jati hai so that was it the two things that we have discussed was cephalocaudal growth scammon's curve cephalocaudal growth it is simple ki head se leke feet tak it increased growth gradient hota hai jaise jaise age badhti hai head kam hote jayega feet aur limbs ke side jo growth hai wo zyada hote jayegi second is scammon's curve scammon's curve mein different tissues ka growth pattern bataya hai important hai ki mandible ka growth jaldi khatam nahi hota whereas maxilla jo hai wo neural growth pattern follow karta hai और वो जल्दी सीज हो जाता है सो उसका स्केलेटल प्रॉब्लम्स पहले ट्रीट होगा थैंक यू कीप विजिटिंग